morning. Today is Wednesday, October 14th, 2015. I'm Anastasia Crockett. A Florida woman streamed herself driving drunk. Now, she's in jail. And I'm Ryton Marsh. The Supreme Court is looking at juvenile life sentences. Your CSN News starts now. Tonight's chess club will be meeting on Friday right after school in room 406. All are welcome. If you have a chess board lying around, please bring it. Also, Girls Hoops Open Gyms Monday begin on Monday. See coach for details. Nampa High, your NHS dancers are holding their annual mini dance camp on December 5th. All students K-8 through grade are in invited to come dance with your Nampa Dance Unleashed team and perform at a basketball game later in the evening. For more information, see Ms. Lindsay in room 664 or one of your Napa High dancers. The University of Utah is here on campus today at 10.30 a.m. and the University of Oregon tomorrow at 12.30. Please sign up to visit with their reps at the front desk. Seniors, if you need help applying for colleges, scholarships, or financial aid, come to room 101 after school on Mondays from, from, from 2.45 to 2.345. We'll be helping with ACT and SAT prep if you are planning on retaking it and it can answer any questions in general. Now, now is the time to be figuring next year's plans, so stop by Monday after school. Don't forget, there's more to bringing your car to school than just getting behind the wheel. You'll need a parking permit. You can pick one up in the attendance office from Mrs. Pacheco. Bring your registration and driver's license. Remember that as a student, you're not allowed to park in the front faculty lot or bus loading lots. That's right, the student parking lot is out back. Serial offenders can find their car booted and immobilized. If you travel between schools, be sure to display your parking permit so you aren't ticketed or fined. Driving to school is a privilege, so make sure you do it right. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high 76, low 43. Tomorrow's high 75, low 43. A Florida woman used a live streaming app on her phone to record herself while driving drunk on Saturday, according to police. Lakeland police received 911 calls about possible drunk driver who would, was using the social media app Periscope to broadcast her illegal joyride to the masses on Saturday. You could hear her saying, you could hear her saying she's drunk, says Sergeant Gary Gross, Lakeland police spokesman. I got to tell you, I was a little shocked. After 30 years of a law enforcement, I hadn't seen anything like this before, he said. As a result of the video being streamed worldwide, numerous messages on the app and personal text messages were sent to the driver asking her to stop driving before she killed someone or herself. The woman gave enough information that the officers were able to find her on the road and arrest her. The mandatory life sentence of a thousand inmates who committed their crimes as juveniles could be reduced, depending on the outcome of a U.S. Supreme Court case the justice considered Tuesday. Three years ago, the court ruled that man mandatory life sentences for juvenile offenders in murder cases were unconstitutional, violating the ban or cruel and unusual punishment. A judge or jury must be able to consider the hallmark features of youth, the court said. Among them, immaturity, imputuicity, and failure to appreciate risks and consequences. The ruling barred future mandatory sentences of life without parole for juveniles. Those under 18 when they committed their crimes. Now the court considers whether the rule should apply to those sentenced before 2012 ruling. Today's SAT word of the day is traduce, which means to expose, contempt, or shame, to represent as blameable, to vilify, to defame. You could use it this way. Not satisfied with unfriending Shelly from their clique, the high school girls went on to introduce her by starting serious, a series of vicious rumors. Thanks for watching, and remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it.